Hi everybody, it's Brad with the Big Family Homestead. And in this video, you guys have asked, well, many of you have asked about my walking desk. So I figured I'd do a short video on how it is, how it works, how I built it, and how you can build one too, because honestly, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. So let's get cracking. My walking desk. Uh, basically, I had this idea in my head after I saw a TV show, probably a good 10 years ago, and it was some big brain Harvard person who came up with this idea that people could walk at work and you just go at a leisurely one mile an hour pace. See, I'm not wigging out. You can still do stuff. You can still work uh, with a treadmill. And they've done different variations of it where, you know, you can actually use it as power generation. And that's not really for me. It's more for the exercise. But they were charging just what kind of money. The cheapest one I saw was thousands, and I mean thousands of dollars, just for a table that fits over the top of a treadmill. And I'm like, uh, uh, uh redneck engineering, kick in. So I'm gonna show you what we did here, and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it, and maybe how you can build your own. Now, please ignore my mess, but this is basically it. You've got a tabletop with a curved out center there so you can kind of get your arms in there without any effort to get to workspaces, keyboards, mice, that whole kind of thing. And then below it, you guessed it, just a regular old treadmill. And um, you can walk. I have no issue walking at about a mile an hour. And um, you can walk faster, it's just then you'll, you gotta get used to that learning curve of making more mistakes or getting better at it because you're moving and you're typing and you're mousing. But then also, I'm gonna move up here, the light is gonna change. But I feel like it's super, super important, and this is one of the keys to keeping your back straight, guys, is that your monitor is at eye level. You don't have to hunch over, you don't have to look around, uh, and that's why I built this little box here that would just keep this thing up on a pedestal so that my eye is directly looking at my monitor and that way I I'm, I'm not straining my back in any way. And I'm gonna show you a different angle of this, but this thing was built for a piece of plywood and an old uh, desk that I had and just kind of cut it up and it works great. So here's another angle to show you the cutout. You really do need that cutout right here because you want your elbows to be flush with the top of the desk or else you could get weird carpal tunnel in your in your wrists and stuff. You want it to be flush, that way you're not mousing or keyboarding in an odd way. And then this treadmill is just a regular old basic treadmill that I had. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this camera so you can see the bottom of it. But basically, all I did was, like I said, I cut up another table. This was like a little table. See how I cut it? Slap that plywood on top. And the reason why is it needs to be sturdy. It has to absolutely be sturdy. Now, one of the reasons why it's really, really important that you get it sturdy, that it won't rock around left and right, is because you're moving a lot. Your, your uh, upper torso is on the top of this table and you're typing and you're mousing and, and it'd be, I guess you could equivocate it to being on a boat, trying to kind of manage all that stuff while you're being on a boat. But if the top is sturdy, then it will give you a rock to kind of anchor from, and that makes it 10 times easier. And that's actually one of the reasons why, if you can see over there in my messy mess, that's, nah, I don't wanna talk about that. But it's, I've got this forced up against the side of this wall, this brick wall. It cannot go any way that way. And I've got this side reinforced so it can't go that way. And it's got reinforcement so it can't go that way. So bottom line is you want this thing to be rock solid, but hey, you can put this thing together for pretty much nothing and it can literally change your life. If you could be up walking a day or walking rather a mile or two a day and you don't even realize it because you were just sitting at your computer anyway. I built mine mainly because I was having back problems, right? And you're sitting there and you're hunched over, you know, click, click, click on your computer and I was getting back problems. Well, now I have a whole new use because of my health issues and I'm really excited to be using it and uh, well, you guys build one and take a picture of it too. I think mine's been so far working really, really well and I'm excited to see what happens with it, where we go with it. Now it does take a little bit of effort getting used to the way that it sways, but it's really not an issue to type and 
just get your work done. It's it's takes maybe an hour or so, and then you're ready to go. I mean, I can go backwards. I can flip around. No big deal. So yeah. So there it is, folks. You could build your own walking desk. I have no issue working, typing. Like I said before, you really do uh, have a small learning curve, but it's really not that big of a deal. And, and I mean, you're standing here working, answering emails, you know, checking your YouTube page, all that kind of stuff. And all of a sudden you wake up and you've walked two miles. That's pretty cool. So there it is. If you like the video, please do share it around, like, and subscribe. You guys know the drill. I'm Brad with the Big Family Homestead. You guys have an amazing day.